So this is our first episode talking about She-Hulk. Yeah, very first one. And um, as always, whenever there's a new show, uh, we ask each other, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you just like it? We don't we don't know. I have no idea. I, I'm going to go first. Yeah. I, I have complained that the formula has been a little stale, how we've had Miss Marvel, how we've had Hawkeye, we've had Moon Knight, and none of these things seem to touch the larger Marvel Universe, and it looks like She-Hulk is the answer to that problem now that I was addressing. This show is going to touch large swaths of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm-hmm. Um, Tatiana Milvani, I think is how you pronounce her name. I love her. I think she's fantastic. I think she, I liked her in Orphan Black. If you like She-Hulk and you like Tatiana Maslini in this show, go watch Orphan Black. She's Excellent in Orphan Black. She's super fun to watch in Orphan Black. Tatiana is super fun to watch in this show. Uh, she's going to be a new big hit. This is going to be a huge hit for her. I'm excited. I liked it. Mike, what did you think? I was not looking forward to this show at all, um, based on everything I'd heard, based on some of the trailers. I think it was the most recent trailer that was the first thing that got me interested in the show. Um, and the first episode was really good. It's a great start to the show. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, um, really good. So I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Yeah. I mean, just the, the fact that Jeff, Jen, Jennifer Wa- Walters is so, like, kind of small frame. Tatiana's like a small frame. And then, mm-hmm. like, when she becomes She-Hulk, um, she's so much bigger and stronger. Right. Uh, it's, it's so jarring and so interesting. And I love how they did the initial scene with the car wreck. Um, yeah. I love that because it was so like fast and furious uh, that I really enjoyed seeing that. And mm-hmm. we'll get to more stuff about that in a second. Um, but the whole pacing of the show is smart. Um, everything about the interaction. I think her and Mark Ruffalo had good chemistry. Uh, it's, it was it was fun to just watch this interaction between these two people and all this stuff going on. Um, I think that's I think the show's funnier than people make it out to be. It's like it's almost holding back his humor. So I think the show's gonna be a lot more funny moving mm. forward. It's gonna be Pretty, it's going to be pretty hilarious. There's yeah. a lot of jokes they really could have went longer for, but they didn't. Um, and so, yeah, well, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good time. Will it be as good as Miss Marvel? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I think right. Tatiana, they have big plans for whatever they're doing with She Hulk. They have huge plans. Like this show is going to be a like a. I feel like this show is starting. Um, the what was it phase five i think this show is actually starting phase five i don't i don't i know we're supposed to wait till after black panther but i don't think so i think this show is phase phase five because it's so much different than what we've had before maybe it was originally supposed to be phase five and it got shuffled around a little bit so maybe i think yeah i think they wanted something in phase four since we haven't yeah. had the wakanda forever yet which is supposed to tie up phase four yeah i think they wanted something to kind of tie us over between like uh, the summer and the fall towards Black Panther, mm-hmm. but I mean, right. it's just so it's so good. So, um, where you want to start? Um, I guess I'll start with the conversation in the car. Um, they're okay. talking a little bit. Um, apparently, Tatiana has figured out how to eat Cheetos without getting Cheeto dust on your hands. Amazing talent! I'm gonna go try to use that. Yeah, yeah, we should all try that. Uh, let's report back how that works by the next episode. I mean, it's either use chopsticks or like use plastic. Like gloves. I That's mean, no good. That's no good because then you get Cheeto dust all over the gloves. I kind of feel yeah. like Cheeto. I kind of feel like Cheeto dust is just like one of those things. Is like okay, this is what I'm doing. Not only am I not supposed to eat these things because it's all chemicals, right? Um, but I'm also making a mess out of myself and everything around me. Yeah. Um, so it's almost like you're like committing a, this a deeper sin. So it feels like you have to get the dust on your fingers. But right. Yeah. But Bruce, so Bruce compliments her on it. She's she's like, oh, well, I guess I'm not the only genius in the family. And then Bruce says, No, there's also Ched. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering, do you know who Ched is? Ched is not from the comics at all. I can't find anything about him. Um. So I don't know. Who knows? Okay. I, I know he's supposed to be in ne- in previous in future episodes. So. But in the comics, uh, there's not a lot of family stuff when it comes to the Hulk. There's like the Hulk. The only only family member we know is his cousin, Jennifer Walters, who we've seen. Um, but okay. that's it. So right. he, he has a child, but it's a kind of convoluted story. Okay. 
they also talk a little bit about an inhibitor that Bruce built. So this mm-hmm. kind of um, is the missing piece when you were making your predictions about why we've got Bruce that's, you know, in a sling and then we've got smart Hulk and what's going on there. So he's built this inhibitor that keeps him in human form. So there's a lot here. There's a whole bunch going on here. And I kind of want to try to explain it as best I can. Yeah. From a, so there's one there's one thing that if you watch all the Hulk sh- movies, like all of them, there's one thing that we've never seen that's in the comics a lot, and that's his healing abilities. The Hulk has amazing healing abilities to the point where if you cut off his arm, he can just put it back together. He can just take his arm, put it to his his body, and it will heal itself. Um, I've seen comics where he's completely, like, he's just stabbed with a billion swords and nothing faces him. Right. So we, we haven't seen that in the movies. And I started trying, I really tried to think, have you ever seen any scene where his healing abilities are showed off and we haven't seen it? Now, Hulk, in the, the Hulk. In the Hulk movie that didn't have uh, Mark Ruffalo in it, we kind of get that. What, what? What is it? When he's getting shot by bullets and it doesn't. Yeah, but the bullets bounce off. The bullets are bouncing off of him. It's, we don't necessarily see his body heal from the bullet wounds, you, mm-hmm. you know. Okay, uh, but he's just super resistant. I think he got cut at some point, and we saw it heal. When I can't, I haven't seen that. Yeah, but, but it was the same movie. Same movie, I think. Yeah, maybe I have to go back and watch that thing again. Anyway, so but we do know that if like She Hulk's blood was able to make the Hulk's arm heal itself. Now, mm-hmm. in the comics, the damage that Hulk suffered in Endgame would, would have healed in a day. But apparently yeah. he had some issues to heal it. So he had to turn into his human form to get to uh, his arm heal. And so that's so that kind of that's a, a that part of- didn't make sense to me why he was staying in human form to try to heal his arm. I don't, it didn't make sense to me either. I, I have no idea why. Uh, but there was something about his healing that his arm just wouldn't heal. So he had to use the inhibitors to, to turn into this Bruce form mm-hmm. so he can better heal himself. I'm not sure why he couldn't do that as a Hulk. Now, so that's different from the comics. And he, now, in, in the car, he said he was getting close to healing his arm. Yeah, so yeah, so I don't know what... I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, in the on the, on the island or the resort they were at in Mexico, he said that, hey, you're you're different than me. Your blood actually helped my arm heal and that's why i'm in hulk form now because you are right. like that would not have happened in the comics so what i'm thinking they're going to they're setting up is that the jennifer walters she hulk character has abilities of healing that bruce does not have and we're going to see that in upcoming episodes it's probably going to be something where she gets hurt or something will happen to her and then as she hulk she's able to heal like drastically from it that's my guess I have no way to confirm that, but I don't know why they would highlight that if they weren't going to do something with it. Uh, maybe it was the only way they could think of to fix his arm. I don't know, but they could fi- they could fix his arm automatically. They could be driving right. down the street and his arm. But healed. they didn't, right? They, they didn't. They, for they, some they, reason, they didn't yeah. fix his arm. Yeah. So now they need a reason to fix his arm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and the inhibitor- like some of this stuff is like writers disagreeing with previous writers and. Mm-hmm. Fixing 100%. things that they didn't like. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you're absolutely right, Mike. We're seeing that with this, the whole uh, whole uh, Hulk arm thing was a continue. It was a problem. I remember reading some articles way back after Endgame when someone was like, "Hulk's arm is permanently damaged. It will never be healed." I'm like, "That's stupid." It's like in the comics, <laughs> it will have healed in a day. So, yeah. but this is the writers kind of fixing that, and I have a theory as to why the inhibitor. Is going to come up again. I'm not sure how, but there's too much stuff with the inhibitor, with the Hulk, with the idea that Hulk has uh, divergent personalities, but he's worked a way to kind of heal them. The Sakarian ship showing up. We are going to get World War Hulk. That is coming, and Marvel's setting it up right now for that. Anybody who thinks that's not true is ridiculous. That's going to happen. Like, there's no. Like whatever's happening in She Hulk is setting it up for a bigger, more intense story that's going that's going to involve that's going to come up probably around twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four, something like that. But 
Um, like Phase Six will probably have World War Hulk. It's definitely one hundred percent coming. Yeah, I, if you're I, interested I in it. hearing more about World War Hulk, uh, go back and listen to our Thor Ragnarok uh, episode of the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, Jay 100%. and a, a guest host Josh get into a big conversation about about that. Yeah, you should link it in the show notes. Oh, good idea. Um, and and like the idea that the Sakarians are coming back for some reason. Is is again fixing something that happened. Like it's almost like they're fi- like the writers are fixing what happened in Endgame. They're fixing what happened in Thor Ragnarok because the 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 world the Hulk story in Thor Ragnarok was not the original one from the comics. There, I think by the end of She Hulk, you should expect for the Hulk to be off world again. Like he's going to be either taken or something's going to happen, and that's going to be probably the end of She Hulk. He's going to be like, where? Like, oh my God, Bruce is gone. And he's going back to Sakaria, so that's I kind of feel like that's what happened. Yeah, so you buried the lead a little bit. The reason that their car conversation stops is because the spaceship hovers right in front of them. Yep. And I, I told my kid as we were watching this, I was like, if <laughs> if anything like that ever happens to you, don't swerve. <laughs> What's your just hit it? Just stop the car. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I mean Don't they don't yeah. they teach you to swerve? Not for a spaceship hovering in front of you. No, no. Mm. Okay. You should almost, you should rarely swerve because you're more likely to injure yourself. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, yeah. that, that, that's some driving lessons, kids. Right. Um, so anyway, uh, we we later find out that it is a Sakarian class eight courier craft. Mm. And Bruce thinks that it was probably coming to relay a message. Mm. He says he needs to he needs to look into that. Mm-hmm. What message do you think the Sakarians are are trying to to deliver? I have no proof at all. Um, but I'm theory crafting. It's a hundred percent theory crafting. I think they they're going to say they need him for something, and that's why. Okay. He's, and that's my theory. They go, they need him because they were definitely coming to the Hulk. Yes, hundred percent. Right? They wanted to deliver it's, a message. It's to too the it's too much a coincidence for that ship to show up and it's right in front of a banner like that. It's definitely they're looking right. for they're looking for the Hulk. My guess they need help. Um so if they're gonna do World War Hulk Hulk, I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna do this. Um, but I'm curious to see how it works. They have to get Hulk back on Sakar and they have to make it so Hulk helps the free Sakarian slaves. I'm not sure how to do that. Mm. But there's also another component that needs to happen, which is there needs to be a reason for Hulk to come back to Earth super mad. Not sure how they're going to do that. So, right. Okay. Not sure. So, car crash. Um, Jennifer Walters gets out first. Uh, she helps uh, get Bruce out of the car. Um, and she gets cut. A little bit of his blood gets into her cut. Mm-hmm. That's how she becomes the Hulk. Yep, a uh, Hulk. Um, yep. What do you think of that? It's pretty accurate. It's not like in the in the comics. Um, Jennifer Walters um, made some gangsters mad. They shot her. She almost died. Hulk couldn't get her to the hospital. I mean, Banner couldn't get her to the hospital in time. He transfused his blood into hers. She lives, and then she becomes She Hulk. So it's it's kind of similar. It's a faster a little- way to do it. Yeah, yeah, faster way to do it, a little cleaner. Mm-hmm. Kind of calls back to the Incredible Hulk movie where Bruce Banner was so concerned about his blood getting into, you know, beverages or like into other people. Mm. Um, so I liked that. How was a call back to that? Just the amount of concern for um Hulk's blood. Um being exposed to any other people in this episode. That's what really that's going to come back to that movie. Yeah, that's going to come back up. That's going to come back up. You'll see. Like yeah. it's going to be like her blood is going to be something that people are going to want. Yeah, yeah. He destroyed all the blood samples of her that he took. Yeah, but yeah, her blood's going to be something that that's going to be part of a storyline. We'll see. I don't know what, but that's going to be something that's going to keep coming back and forth too. All right, cool. Um, so she runs off. She doesn't. It seems like she's like, you know, she's hulked out. The Hulk's taken over. She just runs off, leaves Bruce behind. Um, Then she wakes up at like outside of a bar 
kind of regains her consciousness, calls calls Bruce to have have her uh, have him come pick her up, and then uh, three guys kind of creep out on her. So she hulks out again, and uh, I don't know exactly what happens at the end of that scene. It's pretty quick. She hulks out on the three guys, and then it's like end of the scene. Next thing you know, she's waking up in Mexico. I'm assuming it's a really quick like jump. I'm assuming that banner, the Hulk banner, showed up and like grabbed her before she could hurt those guys. That's my yeah. That's that, my I was thinking something like that. Yeah, it wasn't clear, but I think it's interesting. Like the show wants you to think at first that she has like dual like personalities that she has like herself and then she has She Hulk, but that's right. that was never in the comics. And I'm glad they cleaned it up pretty quickly that she doesn't have these dual identities. She just have herself. And the idea mm-hmm. that she can change form willingly like that is from the comics as well. It's going to be kind of, I, I think something's going to happen later to make it so she's stuck as She Hulk for a while. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but if you look at all the promos and stuff, she's she, she's She Hulk for a long period of time. So I think something's going to happen to like make that. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but well, what it she, seemed like from the from the promos is you know. She's in her she's in her law office. She's I, like I think she just recently got a promotion. Um, she's real concerned about her career as a lawyer, right? And so, mm-hmm. once she's revealed as the Hulk, as She Hulk, I think then based on the pro- promos, like one of the partners at her firm's like, "Hey, listen, you're She Hulk. You're going to be She Hulk attorney at law. You can try all of our like weird." Um, superhero cases, and mm. this is going to be good PR for our firm. So mm. I, that's my thing about why I think she's going to be showing up as She Hulk more and more. Is just it's good for the law firm and it's good for her career. Yeah, I'm thinking from a storytelling element. It's like her getting stuck as She Hulk is something that would cause her immense distress. So I'm, mm. I'm kind of curious to see if they do that or not. Yeah. Uh, and in the in the comics, she at some point she does get stuck. Like she just stays She Hulk all the time. Oh, okay. Do, do you know why that happened? It's just a uh, the the Hulks. Are, you have to understand with the Hulks. And we'll get more into this in a little bit. With the Hulks, it's there's a constant metamorphosis. Uh, their 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 transform the transformation is not stable. And so even even the the Hulk that you saw. The Banner Hulk, the Smart Hulk that you saw in the, in today's episode of She Hulk, is not the one that's probably going to exist at the end of this of the episodes. Uh, is a con- and the reason why it's a constant shift is a couple reasons. One, from a storytelling element, it just gets boring to have the same Hulk over and over. Different writers take over; they have different ideas, and 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 fan comic fans want change. So it's one of the reasons why there's a constant change constantly for comic book characters because. You got to keep things spicy. You got to keep things going. Uh, and so everything's moving around. But but the, the Hulks are always shifting and moving. And so you, you're going to see that more and more, that the Hulk characters are not stable at all. Mm-hmm. I think I'd like to see that she just uh, kind of has control over it for the whole, yeah, the whole series. I kinda, I, well, y- you do, but, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a common storytelling, like, um, philosophy that i attain to it's like don't let the the main character get comfortable don't let the readers get comfortable always make them struggle there's no there's no real reason to have a comfortable character who's having a great time for nine mm-hmm. episodes right keep the characters uh, on the, on their left foot make them constantly look over their shoulder make them uncomfortable yeah. That's well, i mean it's going to be a huge change for her anyway just because like she was kind of like you know she wasn't a public figure mm-hmm. Now she's going to be a public figure. You can't, yeah. a you can't be She Hulk and not be a public figure. So that, yeah, and, that's yeah, one yeah. thing that's going to be making her incredibly uncomfortable for the rest of the series. There's also so I've read a little bit about this. There's also some ideas that hey, you know, she's a woman. Nobody cares about what she says. She doesn't. She like she gets like treated as as our patriarchal society treats women. But then when she turns to She Hulk, she's like not that. Like, she's like she commands attention. She commands right. respect and like. I think that's going to be something that she's got to deal with. The idea, like, who am I? Am I, am I Jennifer Walters? Am I Hulk? Am I She Hulk? What, what am I? Who am I? And that's something that she's got to deal with uh, moving forward. Pretty good, right? Okay. Um. So 
she wakes up in like the best hideout ever. Uh, I would love to spend some time at this hideout. Oh yeah, that hideout's great, man. Yeah, like, it's a, it's a perfect it's a perfect place that you would want to set up. It's great. Right. Um, wakes up, like stumbles around, sees one of Iron Man's helmets that's like damaged mm-hmm. on a pedestal. Mm-hmm. What movie is that from? Do you know? I- I was looking and looking, and I could not tell. I mean, there's been so many different ones. It could be, like, I, I can't, I don't know. I have to look at the episode again. But he's right. not, we've had a lot of Iron Man. But what I thought was fun about this was we didn't really, we knew that Bruce and Tony were friends. But yeah. from what he, the way he was talking, they were really good friends, you know? They, right. like, really spent a lot of time together doing the blip between the five years where everybody was gone. They spent yeah, a yeah. lot of time together. And so I, I really liked that development, even though... Iron Man, Tony Stark, I got, we can't get away from him. Like, he's going to take up, whenever you mention Iron Man or Tony Stark in any kind of MCU property, he takes up a lot of oxygen. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I thought it, this, it was kind of sweet, you know, Tony's dead and Bruce misses him, you know, so yeah, I thought yeah. that was, was really Yeah, no, I thought it was handled pretty well, you know, uh, it's it's a real kind of soft moment. Um, they don't oversell it where he's talking about how, you know, Tony used to tell me that this place was a loner. Uh, sometime he might fly by and and take it back. Um, you know, so he's kind of reminiscing on that. He's like, you know, it's mine now. So he's never going to be able to take it back. Yeah, um, sad. Yeah, sad, sad about that. Um, and I I thought that was played really well. Um, but I'm wondering when Tony and him built this. Was it like before Civil War? No, because he said they were talking a lot while they were building it. They were talking well. Tony was complaining about Steve while they were building mm-hmm. it. My theory, and you can disagree, of course. Mm-hmm. My theory, this this was built after the snap during those five years. Uh, and and you do remember that Tony and Tony and, and Steve were talking a little bit in Endgame, but right. they still were kind of, they still had beef. Yeah. You know? So yeah, so I I'm I'm almost I was like, yeah, because at, at the end of Infinity War... He does War, say something about the snap. I, I, yeah. I don't remember exactly what it was, but yeah. And so at the end of, of Infinity War, um, Banner was in human form. And then at the beginning of Endgame, he was a smart hawk. So that transition occurred during um, those five years that they were they were all kind of dealing with the grief of missing half their population. Right. They really need to do that Disney Plus series about the snap. Yes. What, what, what do we call it? Five years. Yeah, five. So Disney Plus, if you're listening, uh, Kevin F- F- Fergie and everybody else. Foggy. You got to get his name right when you're pitching. Kevin Foggy. Five years. What happened in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the five years uh, after the snap. Uh, right. Make it happen. There's lots of cool things you could do. Do it. Uh, speaking of fixing other writers' mistakes, mm. uh, they make a joke about one in here. Did you catch it? No, what was it? Um, oh, the, so, the, the Natasha's lullaby. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's 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 asking Bruce. Well, so how do you revert back to Bruce when you're the Hulk? He's like, well, one time I got knocked out, another time I like fell from space or something, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, sometimes Natasha could like sing me a lullaby. <laughs> she's like, explain how that works. He's like, I can't. <laughs> He's like, I don't really have a good explanation for that. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I loved it. That was really great, and like, I, so let me ask you a question. Who we, was who was that? Was that Joss Whedon? Yes, yes, yeah. He did Avengers and Avengers: Age of Ultron, two movies that you can watch, but they aren't like super awesome. Let me ask you a question, Mike. Yeah. Which which Hulk are you preferring right now? Do you prefer Small Hulk or do you prefer prefer the more savage monster like Hulk? Like which one from the MCU? Like which one feels like which one do you do you find more appealing? More from engaging, the MCU, more yeah, I think from the MCU, I like Smart Hulk. Wow, hmm. yeah, interesting. Um, but like just in general, mm-hmm. I go back to the Hulk TV show, you know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I like, I like just Hulk. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't remember the theme song. I, I'm, 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 I'm doing this theme song. Yeah, but I still don't remember it. Or, okay. You're either not good at doing the theme song, or it's not that memorable. 
It's it's one of the most memorable it's theme not like, songs. It's not like the X Men television. Cartoon. No, it's one of the most memorable te- theme songs in television history. Well, you must be bad at it then. Okay, all right. I'll listen right. to it after this. All right, okay. If yeah. you if you were if you were real if you if you were a real podcast producer, you incorporate that theme song into might, into the episode might like drop right it now. In here we'll see. Yeah, so um, I can clear it. Yeah, I like so from a comic book reader standpoint, I like these transformations. I like that we had Savage Hulk. I like that we have Smart Hulk right now. I'm curious what they're going to do in the future. Uh, I think Marvel is looking at Hulk, and I think they're very interested in what they can do with the property. And I'm hearing rumors, and I just I've been reading some different things. I don't know for sure, but I think they're about to get their movie rights back. Um, and if that's true, that's gonna be big for them. Yeah, my son was asking about kind of about that. He, you know, while we were watching that, he's like. Was there ever a Hulk movie in the MCU? No. Was nope. what he asked. And I was like, I was like, well, yeah. there was at the very beginning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, I was like, for some reason, they're not. They haven't been allowed to do it recently. Yeah, the the Incredible Hulk was made by a different um, studio, and the studio has the rights to make movies, but they don't have the right to the character. So that's why Marvel can do all this stuff with the character, but they can't make a movie. Wasn't it like a partnership between Marvel and some other yeah. studio? Yeah, I mean, uh, once again... it's technically a part of the MCU. Yeah, one, once again, Marvel whored themselves out and all their characters out. And then when they started getting their act together, they started being able to make some well, cool stuff. Well, they, they had, had to. They had to go... They were, they like, they go, were on the yeah. ropes, man. Yeah, but then they... But, and, like, so it's so funny. If you look now, like, DC movies are so just in so much turmoil. And Marvel's, like, coasting down the road. Of yeah. success street. It's just so funny how everything changes. Anyway, keep going. Um, I'm near the end. Uh, last thing I got to ask you about is, uh, who the heck is that woman that burst into the courtroom? Her name is Titanana. Tight, tight, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Titania. Yeah, Titania. Yeah, she's a classic like villain. Titania. Yeah, she's a classic villain from the comics. From what I've read, she got her powers from Doctor Doom. If you could, cre- if you Doom, could, more hints. Yeah, it, no, 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 okay, maybe, but dude, she's such a throwaway character. Like, you, she's not even a throwaway character. She's a throwaway, throwaway character. Like, if if she shows up in a comic, you're like, I don't care. You're like, it's just, whatever they go, whatever they're going to do to Titania mm-hmm. in She Hulk is going to be leaps and bounds what they did to her in the comics. Like, literally, <laughs> they have not done anything, yeah. so they have free reign to do whatever they want. And it's going to be, I think at some point Tatiana had a partnership with the with the absorbing man. That's going to be interesting if they show that off. But I don't think he, he might show up. I doubt it. Um, that is so a we'll horrible, see. horrible name. Cool, cool power though. He has the ability to absorb anything he touches. So he can absorb. He can turn his. He can touch steel. His skin turns to steel. He can touch diamond. His skin turns to diamond. That's pretty. It's, it's, it's like a pretty Kirby. neat power. Yeah, I guess so. I don't I don't know that reference at all. Um so so like again, like if you like if you watch the She Hulk, be prepared for guest stars upon guest stars. Every single episode is going to have some cool guest stars. And I just hope uh, that doesn't get old. It's not gonna get old. It's gonna be more because we haven't had it. We have not had this. This is what we've been wanting. We wanted a Marvel Cinematic Universe wanting. party. Yeah, I've been I'm getting what I want. Like, yeah. Everybody else got what they want. Now I get what I want, which is this, <laughs> which is this show. Like yeah. I love, I love Tatiana. I think she's a great actress. I, I'm feeling this right now. I want to say a couple of things before I get start before we wrap up. Yeah, I is jarring, jarring how good the Hulk CGI is versus the She Hulk CGI. I, 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 I don't like. It's just. I still think it's. I think it's pretty good. It's good. But not nearly as good as it could. And it's like she's I don't, it's, she's smoother than than. The yeah, Hulk. I don't like that. Is I don't it, like is that it, at all. Is it the fact that she's smoother that you don't like? I haven't like, decided. The Hulk yet. has like he's got he's got stubble. He has like I think his skin's rough. Yeah, um, but here's a, here's my problem. Right? Yeah, she, we still have in this. She they did make her a little more swole. She does have some definition, more than she did before, but not. I hope in the future they make it even more defined. I hope she gets really buff. Um, 
But there's there's something that I kind of feel. Have like you seen? Mom, there was like a there was a video floating around Twitter of uh, Tatiana Maslany mm-hmm. uh, on 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 set. Um, so it's like in between takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's dancing with um, her She Hulk body double mm-hmm. um, while Benedict Wong DJs. Yeah, have you seen that? I have. It's amazing. Yes. Uh, her, but her, her like body double looks a lot like She Hulk. There, there is a body double that is, I think, probably the same size and build of She Hulk. She's pretty big. Yeah. Um, and what they probably did was they used her as a body double, and then they CGI CGI over it. <sighs> you think they're completely it, like CGIing over, or are they just doing like face replacement? I don't know. And this is going to be a point of discussion for a long period of time. It's not that. It's like someone said that Marvel had a better history or more practice doing the Hulk, and that's why the Hulk looks so good versus um, She Hulk. Part of me thinks that they just they've never done what they're doing with a female character before, and they don't know how to do it, and they're going to have to learn on the on the on the fly. They've they've had a lot of practice making these big muscular CGI monsters and men, but they never really tried to make it with a woman and. And it it kind of shows like it doesn't look perfect. It's it's watchable and it's fine, but they have a lot more work to do. Uh, and, I think the and, the yoga pose was the least or yeah. the most uncanny thing. It was yeah. too fluid. Yeah, and and like it says, go back if you ever go back if you can, and like just just look at the scenes in Mexico. Where you have both of them, the Hulk and She Hulk, on the same screen, it's mm-hmm. jarring how good the Hulk looks. Like you should really look at the Hulk. He looks really, really. His CGI looks better than Endgame. It looks really, really good. Uh, and like it's just kind of like and She Hulk's just like, all right. And I, and this takes practice, I guess. Um, I don't know what you can do. I'm, I'm not a visual effects person. I guarantee you, visual effects people are looking at right now and they know what's wrong. Um, so again, we'll just see. But I think. I'm thinking they wanted, they aired on the style of caution. They wanted to make the She Hulk attractive to people, like physically, sexually. And what she, they got she was. She looks uh, pretty similar to some uh, comic panels I've seen people sharing on the internet. Yeah, nah, yeah. I, I, it, but even the comic panels, even if you go to the comics, I've complained about what She Hulk looked like in the comics before. Yeah. Um, so, again, okay. this is, this is going to be a point of discussion moving forward. And hopefully, yeah. I, I think it's worth the discussion, especially if we're going to keep doing all these visual effects and everything. I think it's 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 good to have a discussion and talk about. It. Yeah, I mean, uh, she's a different Hulk than mm-hmm. than than Bruce is. Yeah, so we'll see. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, last, but I will least, say, I will say, oh, I don't think that that attack by Titania. Mm-hmm. I think I just pronounced it the correct way uh, for the first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think that attack was worthy of revealing yourself as She Hulk. She was Titania get, was going to Titania was going to hurt people. Okay. <laughs> I guess yeah, I guess she was she was gonna throw something at the jury box. Yes, she was going yeah. to hurt people. Yeah. So All right. yeah, it, it was definitely well, worthy of it. After after she changed into She Hulk, it got it escalated to the point where you needed She Hulk there. Um I guess maybe I just think she like changed too quickly. Although she was getting tons of uh pressure from her um what was it like legal legal aid yeah paralegal her paralegal yeah mm-hmm. nikki nikki Ramo- nikki ramos played yes. by ginger gonzaga is nikki ramos a character from the comics ah <laughs> uh nikki i gotta look i guess hang on give me three seconds four three two ramos is probably not the right pronunciation of that name it's probably like um there's something there's something here give me a second ramos or something um, no, she's not from the comics. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You got anything else about the show you want to tell us? Anything I missed? I do. I have one more thing. You're going to hear a lot about this talk. It goes okay. to the mid credit. It goes kind of to the mid credit scene. So let me go go over the mid credit scenes. In the mid credit scene, uh, Jennifer Walters is playing playing like she's drunk and talking about how sad that Captain America died as a virgin because that's what they were talking about in the car. When the current right. plane came down and blah, 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 blah. And then finally, 
Bruce says something he probably wasn't going to say. He said Bruce says that he lost his yeah, Captain America lost his virginity in 1943 on the on the USO tour, and then uh, that's. Tessie Ad is a great line. She says, Captain, Captain America, uh, and then like they cut it. So it's kind of funny. Um, right. I want to make this clear to everyone that there's a couple things going on here. One, okay. this is proof to me that the, that most people don't know what happened to Steve Rogers. So let's back up to the end of Endgame where he mm-hmm. goes. He, he uses the time, mach- the time machine to take all the, the Infinity Stones and put them back where they're supposed to go. But then right. he uses it to go find Peggy Carter in the past, and he, he falls back in love with her, and he spends the rest of his life with her. And then right. we see an old version of, of, of Steve Rogers, and he gives a shield to the current Captain America, which is uh, Sam Wilson. Now, my theory is no one knows that happens. They just think that right. Captain America disappeared, and that's it. Because you can't have a, a conversation about Captain America's virginity if you know he goes and gets married. Like, it's like it's it's not right. even a thing, right? right. And so, yeah. and so it's, it's, a, it's a funny thing. It's funny. It's kind of laughable. It's a, it's a, it's a joke. It's, it's, it has a lot of sexual stuff in there, which is also funny. Um, but it also answers the question for me, which is most people don't know what really happened to Captain America to Steve Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, leads to like headlines and publications on the internet about like who is the new Captain America? Nobody Sam knows. Wilson. Yeah, I mean, you and I know, but yeah, apparently other people do not. No, 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 no. So we, when the new movie comes out in two years, or two, is right. it a year? Two years. No. Yeah, I think it's two years. Um. Okay. So, um, are you ready for some news you can't abuse? I'm always ready. This news you can't abuse isn't really big news. Um, <sighs> apparently the um swarm. Of also virgins in their mother's <laughs> basements, uh, review bombed She Hulk in IMDb before it even came out. So they oh. started giving it real bad reviews. Yeah. And <laughs> it, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I just kind of think it's funny that you have these people who can't bathe properly, who don't really know how to dress. <laughs> And can't get a, a woman to become attracted to them. So their recourse is to go on the internet and review bomb a show that's really good. In fact, She Hulk is getting better reviews than any other MCU property on Disney Plus ever. It, like even people, more than uh, even more than Miss Marvel. Yes, people mm. love this show. Uh, I think Miss Marvel has some issues because of, I think some people are either secretly or covertly is uh xenophobic and the and the muslim stuff kind of bothered them which is something they have to deal with they have to figure it out but mm-hmm. i think she hulk i think tatiana is super fun to watch and i think she hulk was it was accessible to a lot of people uh unfortunately and fortunately and so i think that this review bombing is just stupid and i i i want to say this if you're right, at home right now i'm looking at imdb and where were you saying it was review bombed imdb yeah okay Right now, IMDb has it as a 7 out of 10. It should be a 9 out of 10. You know, it should yeah. be a 9. And so, here's what I want to say. Yeah. If you're, if you're at home and you're just angry at women, just because you don't really know what to do, my <laughs> advice is to, like, read books. Like, good books. Like, just start reading random books where women are not sexual objects, but actually people. And mm-hmm. they don't have to be books other people read. Read any book. And you're going to see women written in a way that make them f- look as humans because, of course, women are humans. Also, take a shower. Stop eating fast food. <laughs> quit, quit playing video put, games. Put down the chicken tendies. Go for a walk. Call your mother. Hang out with your sister. Right? Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. go to college. Get an education. Yeah, talk to your like, mother. Right. Yes. Yeah. Do, if, you, if you left a review bomb on She-Hulk, just because you felt like you wanted to, you have a serious mental, spiritual, emotional problem, and you need to get the proper help there. I've got to read the top review that I see right now on IMDb. You have to do it. Go for it. I have to. I have to. Uh, read so it. here's the here's the headline of the top review. Okay. 
This is about the first episode of She-Hulk. So Got it. it's okay. Lighthearted. Character growth is a must. Duh, dude. It's the first episode of a show. Of course <laughs> there's going to be character. That's the whole point of the show is so that there will be character growth throughout it. So, yeah, there's, there's 663 one-star ratings on this. Yeah. And, like, if you remove those, uh-huh. that would it would be an un, a immediate almost 10. It's so dumb. This one's, this one's four out of 10. So they were... Uh, <laughs> they were, I guess they were being generous instead of a one-star. Uh, so I've got to read the rest of it. This is, uh, this is really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, it's hard to really grasp the show with only 30 minutes. Lighthearted and an easy watch. I don't care for the way Jennifer's character is written. She comes off smug and arrogant. I don't correlate that to confidence or comedy. And in my opinion, it was undermining the whole show. At the same time, plenty of room and time for nice character development. I hope she matures. (laughs) That person hit enter and then probably (laughs) cried somewhere. (laughs) Hey, get some help. Get some help. He brushed the Cheeto dust off of his fingers after he so hit enter. We really uh, shouldn't make fun of these people as bad as we're doing, but we are going to do it. So that's right. just how it is. You're 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 putting yourself out there. Yeah, I don't care. You got beef with me? Come bring it. Give right. me a bad review on IMDb. Go ahead. Yeah, do that's it. All, that's all you can do, apparently. Yeah, you know? yeah like, review <laughs> us. Review us on uh, Apple yeah. Podcasts. Do it. Please do. Give us the worst reviews. We need them. Right. <laughs> like, I don't care what kind of reviews you give us. <laughs> yeah. Review I, on us. I come off as smug and arrogant, so I deserve that. You definitely do, yeah. I do. Yeah. It's true. It's fun. I am smug and arrogant. Anybody mm-hmm. will tell you that. I earned it. I've read a lot of comic books. <laughs> How mature do you think this person is that hopes that uh, Jennifer Walters matures? You can't really measure maturity until you get to the point where people can start paying their bills on time, and when they bump in, <laughs> and, and when they bump into people, Wait, they say, you, "Excuse me," you, you know, mean paying so, their own bills. Yeah, paying their own bills. You're 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 on your own. You went grocery shopping. You're eating something for dinner besides McDonald's. That's maturity, you know. Right. So if they're if they're doing that. Then they wouldn't be doing review bombs. They'd be watching TV like normal people and enjoying and enjoying this magnificent miracle of endless TV that you can never ever watch all of. You know? Right? So, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Mike, if you if someone wanted to review bomb us, how would they do that? Uh, review bomb us. Uh, <laughs> however, you're listening to this. Uh, there's a way to re- review, rate, thumbs up, star, um, subscribe, follow share all that stuff uh please review us uh give us one stars give us five stars give us 10 stars you know whatever thumbs up uh the horns everything yeah we'll take whatever you get whatever you got we'll do it if you're if you're listening right now you're already subscribed subscribe follow share hit the share button right now share this with at least three of your friends yeah and and this is going to be a weekly thing every Thursday. She-Hulk, us. That's right. That's what we're doing. That's how we mm-hmm. do it. So get ready for us. And we're, we're, we're this is hot off the presses. Yeah. It came, She-Hulk came out this morning, and now you get to listen to us. So every day you can be like, hey, I'm super excited. I get to listen to Jarvis and Mike and get to watch She-Hulk. Because, yeah. of course, you get to watch more She-Hulk, excited, and then you get to hear me ask questions about things I did not understand. And you get yep. to hear Jarvis explain it to me like I'm an idiot. Can't wait. Super excited. Super excited. Yeah. yeah, you're not you're not an idiot, Mike. You're a great guy. 